drag myself into the spotlight. And he will drag the spotlight into me. That's a nice, nice idea. How many people know Walt Kelly? Walt Kelly was a cartoonist. He drove, he drew Pogo. You may remember Pogo, the possum, and Albert, the cigar-smoking alligator. And uh, the reason I bring up Pogo, who meant the enemy, and he is us, uh, is because today is Friday the 13th. And uh, Churchy Lefebvre, the turtle, every, uh, every 13th of the month, he would run around going, Friday the 13th comes on a Tuesday this year. So, but this time, Friday the 4th, 13th, came on a Friday. So Churchy would be very happy about that. All right, and uh, I was expecting, here it is March, that I have a couple of Irish songs to fight with, but no, I've got the entire repertoire to myself. <laughs> All right, so. What a concept. Over in Killarney, many years ago, my mother sang this song to me in tones so sweet and low. Massachusetts. Oh, by the way, Sons of Anarchy, Cambridge, the crow flies strange. <laughs> yes, that's the uh, Sam Chi uh, 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 chapter, the uh, uh, Sam, uh, Sons of Anarchy Motorcycle Club hippie independent chapter. <laughs> okay. So uh, anyway, the People's Republic. Uh, where was I? I forgot where I was. I, oh, yes, I was speaking about my teacher, Alice Mario, and Alice uh, taught music to the entire school. So she had a third grade class and she taught music to everybody in grade K through eight. Busy woman. One day she said, hey, boy, a lovely voice, you should learn this song. I'm like, What's this song? It's, it's a song called Galway Bay. And I'm sure your parents will be happy to hear that you'll sing it, you know, because it's about the Irish and the troubles. Okay, I'll learn this song. Well, it turns out that she was the wife of Theodore Mario, who founded the choir school that I was accepted to in the eighth grade and graduated from. It's a famous St. Paul's choir school in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So she was his wife. And I got to meet Mr. Mario one day. She said, Oh, you have to meet Bobby Kelly, or Robert Emmett Kelly, who she always referred to me by my three names. And but there was Mr. Mario, and Mr. Mario was in a great coat, white, Tyrolean hat, little feather, and he looked gigantic. Well, many years later, when I took my audition with him, he's about this tall. <laughs> so, it was interesting. And anyway, my Aunt Mary, who named me Robert Emmett Kelly, and there's a long story there that I'll tell another time, 
uh, she, uh, when she heard that I learned this song, she was so pleased. If you ever go across the sea to Ireland, then maybe at the closing of the day, you will sit and watch the moon rise over Claremont and see the sun go down on Galway Bay. Just to hear again the ripple of the trout stream, the women in the meadows making hay, and to sit beside a curve fire in the cabin, and watch the barefoot gossams at their play. For the breezes blowing o'er the sea from Ireland are perfumed by the heather as they flow, and the women in the uplands digging pretties speak a language that the strangers do not know. For the strangers came, they tried to teach us their way. They scorned us just for being what we are but they might as well go chasing after moonbeams or life a penny candle from a star and if there is going to be a life hereafter and somehow I am sure there's going to be I will ask my God to let me make my heaven in that dear land across the Irish Sea. Very good, thank you. There's a few Irishmen out there, I guess. Right. The luck of the Jewish. The luck of the Jewish. You know, and speaking of that, I did. In my home, growing up, I was an Irish Catholic boy, and we had parties all the time. And part of the thing to do at parties was party pieces. What they call Kamalia. Kamalia and sing. Well, my Uncle John used to do party pieces. And it was always a, it was a song or a poem or a speech or something like that. My Uncle John used to do this thing where he would roll up his pant legs and put his hat on side me. A horse! A horse has four cor- Oh no, hang on. A horse! I'll start again. A horse! A horse has four hoots. One in each corner. I'll start again. <laughs> and this went on for a half hour. Uncle John was a funny guy. Uh, and he had the one great speaking part in uh, the Salem Witch Trial um, WP, uh, PBS special many years ago, where he was the guy who was crushed. And his one line was, more weight. So, <laughs> and this is one of the songs that I was hoping that the headliner wouldn't do. For Danny Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Love you, 